Hey guys, how you guys doing? Good. See, I want to share a word that's on my heart, and it's called fire. I also have a spoken word that I'm going to be talking about, and it's fire. But I want to let you guys know something. It's not only being a Christian by going to church every Sundays or Saturdays worshiping, but it's a relationship with the Father. Everywhere you go, you are the church. That's why I started this ministry, because God put on my heart spread the gospel everywhere I go. If I go to Publix, I'm preaching the gospel. If I go to Walmart, I'm preaching the Amen. gospel. If I go down in the corner, I'm preaching the gospel everywhere I go. Amen. You see, the, the generation that's God starting and building up in their heart, the, the, um, the kids, they're tired of just coming to church, seeing the same religion stuff, religion, religion, religion. They want to see a relationship. They, they know that their God is more powerful. He can heal. He has power. And I want to tell you this. In, um, in the book of Daniel 3, you see, Shadnach, Meshach, and Abednego, when they went in the fire, when they went in the fire, God was with them in the fire. You see, when we come to these events and we're feeling the presence of God, God is with us in the fire. Amen. But when they left the fire and they came out of the fire, God was still with them and they were burning even more. The fire inside them burned even more and they were telling everywhere they go. You see, the fire that's inside of us, when we leave this place, the fire should go with us. Amen. The fire is inside us and it should be brighter and brighter. And when we come together like this, a bunch of churches coming together. We should come as a body of Christ and worship God. Amen. And glorify, like he said, when you walk in the streets and they see Jesus in us. Yes. Come on. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, that's my mission. And I'm going to do a spoken word. Amen. Amen. Woo. Praise, Praise God. God. spoken words called stay on fire but that fire can grow without a desire so I'll keep lifting his name higher and higher and don't look up to me man cuz I'm nothing to admire I was just another messed up teen to my Lord give me a burning desire and now I'm like a lighter and everyone that touches me is gonna catch on fire but I wasn't always this way I looked at this world and saw nothing but great and to me it seemed there could be no other way and to be honest with you man I didn't even want to live another day and all I could think about was praying so I prayed, but for a while my pain stayed, and a toy looked at his hands, and I saw they were engraved my name. Lord, I feel unworthy and ashamed, and I know you were framed, and I know you were blamed, and I know you took my name, and you gave me a new name, and you did it all because you loved me and I was lost, and you did it all already counting the cost, and as you were tossed, and as you were dragged to the cross, and as your feet were crossed, and as they dragged to the cross, they yelled in your face, you were false, and you said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. I'm pretty sure he was thinking about me, and he was thinking about you, and I'm sure you know the story. I came back and he brought God glory. You see, we don't serve a dead king. You're a saint now. He gave me the ring. So when the devil comes, don't be afraid to take that swing. You're no longer lost. So be like Peter on the day of Pentecost. And get up and go. And tell the devil no because he has to go. And let Jesus wash your sins away as white as snow. Because Jesus washed you as white as snow. And let your light, when you're in the darkness, glow. And let your light shine. Come on, we serve a God that turned water to wine. And I'm giving you these signs to connect to his vine. Because Jesus, he can take away your pain. And yes, you, he knows you by your name. You no longer have to be ashamed. So stop acting like you're old soul. Because you were meant to go out there and be bold. And stop telling you just a piece of mold. And telling you're too old. Because Jesus is you more valuable than any piece of gold. And when you're in the darkness, go. Let me tell you this. Jesus loved you so much, he paid the highest price. So if I could give you any better advice, it would be not to follow me, but to follow Christ. <laughs> That brother said, I'm like a lighter. When people touch me, they catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs>